Okay, so every once in a while, I want to ask you guys, you know, what you want from me. Um, it seems like there's a lot of new people too. So I always like to do basics, but, um, you know, I did the open questions so that you guys can see, um, or you guys can get, you know, the questions answered that you want. Um, and just so you guys all know, um, you know, when you sign someone new and you add them to the team page, you have to realize like they're going to get very overwhelmed very easily if you tag them in like 50 different things. So I posted this on the team page earlier, but I just want to reiterate it. Um, there's a lot of really great things in the team page, but for me personally, if I was tagged in 50 things the day I signed up, I would have gotten very overwhelmed. And so I suggest having them watch their product videos in their e-suite first, um, and then you know, giving them some posts to start with, to show them how to get their four loyal customers, and what a loyal customer is, tag them in the loyal customer script, um, and then you know, maybe one or two things in the team page, but keep it very basic because they can get overloaded with information very easily, okay? Um, and also, if you're new and you were tagged in 50 things, you know, don't get overwhelmed if you're looking at them all. Um, just, you know, kind of pick and choose and learn as you go. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, um, a lot of you guys were super excited about the loyal customer script thing that Eliana posted earlier. Um, and it was, it was great and it laid it out perfectly. Um, but I just want you guys to know that at the top of the team page, the little pinned post has been something almost the exact same. Um, and I always tag my new, my new people in it. And I want to make sure that you guys are too. Um, whichever one, they're both basically the same because that's how, you know, your new distributor is going to know how to talk to a loyal customer. Because when you're brand new, like if somebody says, how much is something you're going to be like, uh, I don't know. But if you are tagging them in the pinned post or the one that Eliana posted, either one, um, they're the exact same thing. They're both fine. Um, that will teach your new people. And if you're new, um, go to the team page, click the pinned post at the top, and it's right there. Also, at the bottom of the pinned post is the uh, potential distributor video. Okay, so if you don't know how to talk to a distributor yet, send that video. I know how to talk to distributors and I still send it because it gives out the basic information um, without word vomiting. Um, oh, hold on one second. Um, Eliana said she got kicked out because of the lost connection, but there's still one spot if she gets it. Stacy, can you message her? Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of my spiel. If you're new, um, and you're not sure what to do yet, go through the team page. Kind of scroll through and pick up information and pick people that you see are really active in the team page. Go follow them on Facebook. Um, you'll get a lot of great inspiration, post ideas, things like that from them. And that's really good for you to kind of get in the groove of things so that you're not just following your enroller, um, if that makes sense. Um, let's see here, I don't think she got back on. Oh, yeah, she did. JK. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. So Thank that's. Just, yeah, I saw. Okay. So um, that's just for, you know, the basics for you guys. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go through the stuff that you. Sorry. My hair is really pissing me off today. It's really annoying me. I got a haircut and she just cut too much off. And it's really annoying me. Sorry. Um, okay. So what just happened? Oh, gosh. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go over the questions that you guys asked me and just, if you have anything that you want to ask at the end, just kind of write it down now. Cause I don't want to get too off track. And then at the end I will, um, let you guys ask any of that. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about though is posting. You guys posting is so, 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 so important. If you're brand new and you're, you're excited um, or if you're getting back into it, maybe you left for a little while and you don't know how to get back into it. The best way is to start posting. I know sometimes you're, you're not like a hundred percent with like just messaging everybody, but start posting. Okay. My kind of rule of thumb, um, everybody does it differently, 
but as long as you're posting on Facebook every single day, it's very important. But what I kind of do is I like to have at least two business posts, at least one product, and at least two personal. So that's kind of how I you know, go about it and just make sure that I mix it up throughout the day. Um, and I like to post every, you know, two to three hours. That's kind of my thing. Um, some people do more often, some people do less, but as long as you're getting it out there, it's very important. Um, I personally think that you can't post too much. You can post too much. It works, but you can't post too much period. Like you can't post too many pictures of your kids, honestly. Um, but that is so important, you guys, because we always talk about messaging is really important, but the first step to this business is to start consistently posting so people know what you're doing. Um, and one thing about posting is we are big on no graphics, okay? So graphics are like, you know, the big green sign that says join my team or the green sign that says like, do you have stress? I have something for that you know, things like that. So stay away from those graphics. Um, but posting consistently is key. If you are new and you have no idea what to do, start posting and you will start to gain the interest and get things going for yourself. Um, okay. So, and the next thing, if you're brand new, I would suggest doing after you've learned your products and you've started to post, um, you can follow people on the team on Facebook to get ideas of what to post and how people are posting. Um, but try to be genuine to yourself. Um, three likes, one comment rule. It's really, really good rule of thumb. So go to someone's profile, like three things, comment on one thing with like a compliment or maybe message them with a compliment. And that's going to start to gain that interest um, for your posts, but also for when you're going to message them. Okay. Um, Okay, so I'll talk about kind of messaging at the end because we almost talk about messaging every single training. Um, so I'll kind of leave that for the end. But um, I want to make sure too that you guys are having parties. I know that parties doesn't work for everybody and some people are amazing just on social media, but you don't know if you haven't tried it, okay? So I want to make sure um, that you are at least having two to three parties and you know, you guys can get your rock on that live. Oh, sorry, I'm getting all flustered because I, people are, sorry. Okay, sorry, squirrel. Okay, I wanna make sure that you guys are having parties because you really just never know. Um, that next rock star could hate Facebook and love parties, but if you don't ever invite her to a party, she is never gonna sign up, okay? So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're setting up a party. If you guys don't know how to do it, you guys can do it alone. You're all adults, you're big girls, you're big boys, you can do it alone. But if your enroller is in town and they can help you, it will be 10 times better um, to have that help if they're available. We're not always available, um, but, have those parties, you guys. They're amazing. <clears throat> um, and let's see. Okay, so with your guys' questions, we'll talk about Ruby in a second, but um, someone asked about phone management. So, like, um, I'm on my phone all the time and my boyfriend doesn't like it or whatever. You guys, this is not a business that you have to be on your phone 24-7. And this is the part where you think you're working, you think – you're doing, hi Liam. Hey babe. There's a baby coming in here. Um, this is the part where you think you are doing income producing activities and you're not. You are scrolling on Facebook, you're liking everybody's stuff, but guess what? Even though it's important to like and comment on people's stuff, that's not like the income producing activities. Income producing activities is Offering the business, offering the product, signing up distributors, signing up customers. Okay, so if you feel like you're on your phone all the time and you're not getting anything from it, if you are not actually messaging people, that's why. Okay, a good thing to do too is like, what I'll do is I'll just be like, okay, I'm gonna be on my phone for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna message, I'm gonna follow up, and then I'm gonna put my phone down, go play with my kids. Give yourself a timer. There's no problem with doing that. Limit yourself. 
there's no problem with that, you guys. You just have to manage it for yourself. Um, and that way, you know you're gonna do income producing activities. If you're the kind of person that needs a checklist, make a checklist, like literally. Um, a long time ago, not a long time ago, a couple of months ago, I think it was like Katie or somebody, they, they made a checklist and they laminated it just for every day. You guys could literally do that if you are not managing your time well and you feel like you get lost scrolling. This is what I suggest you doing. Laminate a piece of paper and just have on there, you know, two personal posts, two distributor posts, two product posts, whatever. Um, message five or 10 people, follow up with five or 10 people, you know, whatever your daily goal is, do that. And then, you know, whatever you want your weekly goal to be, sign two distributors, sign five distributors. If your guys' goals are in front of you, you're going to get them done. If you do not know where you're going, you cannot get there, okay? So make sure your goals are written down, whether it's daily, simple income producing activities or signing people or your promotion. All of those things should be written down. We have our dream board on our fridge, but also in my notebook, I have in the back a list of like affirmations that I say all the time. Um, I'm a distributor signing machine. I have the best team in it works, like all of this kind of stuff. And I feel like they're coming true. Um, but like, you just have to have those things out. If you guys don't have a dream board, make one. Actually, I want to start calling them vision boards because vision board sounds way better than dream board um, because obviously they're going to happen. Um, so make sure you guys have that, okay? So if you are aimlessly wasting time on Facebook, make yourself a checklist. And regardless, you guys need to have daily goals and, you know, a vision board as well that you see every day. Um, that really kind of brings things to light. Because sometimes when you're in this business, you start off, you're doing it, you're doing it, and then some people just fade. You literally just fade away. And I'm like, where are you going? Like, what are you doing? Like, this, this literally can bring you home. This can pay off your car. Like, this, this, all of your dreams are right here, and the business is right here, and you're, you're just not, like, combining the two. Like, why, why wouldn't you do one to get the other? And honestly, it's because people let their dreams go because they think that they can't actually reach them. And that's why it's so important to have the vision board or the dream board, whichever one you want to call it, and your daily goals because it makes it more real. It reminds you every single day, this is what I want. This is what I want. I can actually get it. Um, you know, you have to want more or you'll never have more. Um, okay. Um, I wrote down how much to comment. I'm not sure what that question was um, on there, but I must have summed it up in a weird way. Okay, so blitzing. Somebody asked about blitzing. Okay. Oof, sorry. Somebody said checklists don't work with two babies. Like, do I have to get up? Um, you do you. Whatever gets your work done, you do you. I have two kids too. Um, so blitzing, you guys, blitzing, don't think of it as like, I'm going out blitzing today, okay? Think of it as when you are out and about, you are offering the business to someone. And this is the best way that I get myself to actually blitz people, is I think, who am I to keep this opportunity from them? If you think about them and not the fears you have, you will give them that card and you will get their number or their Facebook because you know, honestly that, that last waitress, that could have been your next ambassador diamond, but you didn't offer it to her or that cash register girl. She could have been in debt. She could be losing her car. She could be fighting for her kids, whatever it might be. And you could have changed her life, but because you were too scared and you let your fears get in the way, you just prevented her from that opportunity. And so when you're blitzing, like there's no like special trick with blitzing. It's just getting out of your own head. That's really all it comes down to. Cause all you gotta do is give a card. If you don't even have cards, who cares? Get their number, get them on Facebook. And that's all you need. If you can get them on Facebook, the rest is golden. Honestly, um, this is how I do it. I usually just say like, 
I kind of take out the randomness by saying this is random, just like I do in messages. I'll just say like, okay, this is so random, but you were super helpful and you're super fun. And I have this business and I think you'd be really good at it. And I just hand them the card and they might be like, oh, I've heard of it or, oh, I haven't or whatever. And I'll be like, I got to run. Um, my husband's at home or whatever excuse, but can I add you on Facebook and just send you some more information about it? Totally harmless, you guys, like totally harmless. That is honestly what I say every single time. I just say, this is so random. I've actually ran back in a store one time because I was like, I have to blitz this girl. Um, and I literally just ran back and I was like, hey, you know what? Um, you just really touched me and I feel like I needed to give you this card for my business. I couldn't help but not. Um, you know, can I text you? Literally, you guys, just keep it super simple. As long as you can get them on Facebook or the phone number, you're golden. Okay. Um, okay. Consistency and organization. Um, okay. Consistency, I'm really good with. Organization, not so much. Um, the way I organize my potentials is when I if I talk to somebody, I pick a day that I want to follow up with them and then I just put it in my calendar and then every day I just look at my calendar. That's kind of how I do it. But also more importantly, I just have one big like list in the back of my notebook with all my potential customers and all my potential distributors. And I always just go through that list. Like every day I'll look at the list and be like, who have I not talked to in a couple days or who is it time to follow up with? And when you're talking to somebody, you'll remember. So I just have a customer list and a distributor list. That's really all I do um, for organization. As long as you know they're there, you're good. Consistency, consistency is self-motivation. That's all it is. Um, there's no like special way to be consistent. It's just actually doing it. That's the work. The fortune is in the follow-up. If you don't follow up with somebody, somebody else will, um, or they will just never start. Really, that's what it comes down to. Um, but the way that I stay consistent is the same re the same way. I have a list, and I look at the list every day. If I look at the list every day, I'm excited to talk to the person that I haven't talked to in a few days to get them signed up, and that just keeps me consistently following up. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, Stacy or Tiffany or Eliana or any of you ladies, do you guys want to add something so I'm not like just talking everyone's ear off? Sorry, my back. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Hey, okay, so I actually do the checklist too, and um, it's been, it's worked wonders for me because, you know, my kids get out of control sometimes. <laughs> So, um, the checklist has seriously been huge for me and, um, what I really started doing to sign a lot of my distributors is my hundreds list. So, um, I printed that out and I make sure I do my follow-ups and stuff like that, but that has been huge for me is uh, my hundreds list as well. Can you explain to them what a hundreds list is? So, um, you can find it in your e-suite. And um, I just make it super simple. My uh, hundreds list is just basically um, the potentials that I have and who I've talked to before about the business. So like I will put their names down and then next to them I can put um, what I'm doing with them. So building a relationship, I'll put that in there. Um, if I am talking to someone, I'm making sure that I'll put like in parentheses, um, interact with them if I'm not interacting with them a lot. Um, so. I do like little notes at the side on the sides of my hundreds list. So like Christy, build relationship, you know, Natalie, um, follow up on Tuesday because she said that's when she wants to sign. But when I follow up with somebody, I don't message them and be like, Hey girl, are you ready to sign? Like I build that little relationship up first. Um, because obviously I want to be their friend too. I'm not just talking to them to just fill them as in a box, I guess. Yeah. So you guys basically a hundreds list. Um, you can fill it with potentials or not yet potentials. It's basically like my list. It's just a list of people that you want as customers and distributors. Um, I always suggest like 
if you guys don't have a list of a million potentials right now, go on your Facebook and go to your friends list and write down 50 names on a piece of paper. And guess what? Now you got a potential list because honestly, it sounds bad, but I can turn anyone into a distributor if I try hard enough. I know that sounds bad, but like I can if I work my hardest to get them to be a distributor, they will be because I know what I have my hands on and I believe in it and they will become a distributor, whether it be in a day or a year. Um, so make that list. It's not like, and it gives you somewhere to start too. Cause I think some people's problems is just like, you're not sure where to start. Like, where, what do I do? I just posted on Facebook. What do I do now? Just make a bunch of like people on a list and start, pretending like they're your potentials, talking to them, messaging them, building a relationship, offering the business. Boom, boom, boom. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, sorry guys. My back hurts. So charting, somebody wanted to know about charting. Um, but I'm not going to talk about charting just because everyone's charts can be completely different. Um, but let me see if I even have one. I don't have one with me. Um, if you guys are not sure how to chart yet, what I want you to do is I want you to go to your enroller first and then your diamond upline and then so on and so forth. Um, the reason I say to do that first is because everyone's chart is different and there's no perfect way to do it. Um, and so I don't want to give you guys something you're not sure about, but I will say this. Um, and I don't want to confuse anyone that's new. But for charting, you can use anyone in your downline for promotion. Okay, so I'll say this just across the board. So if you want to be Ruby, okay, keep it really basic. Ruby is three distributors. You're up here. You have three distributors under you, and then one of them has two distributors, okay? That's what Ruby is. Um, now, that person, they're called an executive. The one with the two distributors, they're called an executive. Now let's just pretend you sign up three people and then you're, this person signs up one person and that girl just sucks. She just sucks. Like she's just MIA. But then this person under her goes executive. Boom. You're still Ruby. You can use someone. Boom, 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 boom. 10 levels down as your executive if you want. Okay. Don't want to confuse you guys, but I just want you to know that the business works in our favor. Your charts work in your favor. You can use anyone anywhere. Um, so ask your upline for help for your specific, um, you know, your specific, uh, chart. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Reading a question on there. Okay. So, um, somebody said that a lot of her potentials say that they have no friends. And that's why they don't want to start. So, um, you guys, that's kind of an easy question, like, or an easy answer. It doesn't matter. I didn't have friends when I started. Social media allows you to connect with literally billions, billions of people. You guys, there's only 180,000 of us. Okay. There's over 400 that I looked it up recently. There's like over 400,000 people in just Henderson. Okay. We are open in 17 countries there. We have not even touched the surface, like not even touched it. And so people, if people say I have five friends on my Facebook that do it, or I don't know anyone, I would tell them, you know what? There's a lot of cake to be eaten. Either you want a piece or you don't like really, that's what it comes down to. Like you need to let them know that you have confidence in the company and doesn't matter if they don't know anyone, you can teach them how to reach out to people that they didn't know. And usually I use my relationship with them as an example, because most of the people I didn't know before, I say, just like you found me or I found you, that's what I'll teach you to do. And then they're like, oh, you're right. We didn't actually know each other. And that kind of like puts a light bulb in their head. Um, okay. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Somebody talked about stealing the deal. Okay. So with stealing the deal, you guys, it's really just about that connection um, that you make with them. Can you guys hear me? Uh oh, I froze. Hello. I yes, can hear you. Can hear you. Oh, yes, I can, can hear you. Perfect. Okay. 
sorry, you guys' face is froze. Okay, so with sealing the deal, honestly, there's just two things that I make sure when I'm following up that are gonna help me seal the deal. One, I'm being personable and a connection. So you're still, just like what Tiffany said, you're not following up, say, hey girl, today's the day, boom, sign up. You're starting a little bit of small talk first, showing that you actually like know who you're talking to. You're not just sending out a you know repeat message. That's the biggest thing. And then selling the deal is just following up. You guys, like when people are not ready, they're not ready yet. Um, but you need to be the first person to talk to them and the last person to talk to, talk to them. Um, because if you're not going to follow up with them, somebody else is going to snag them. Um, because if you have made a conversation with somebody or built a relationship with them and show them that they need the business when they're ready, either you're going to be there to follow up with them and you're going to sign them or they're going to reach out to somebody else because they're ready and you maybe just weren't there at the time. Okay. So keep that in mind. Selling the deal is just relationship and follow up. That's really what it is. And make sure that you're not one of those people on Facebook. That's like not saying anything personal about their life. And it's all it works. Like if you guys look at my Facebook, I talk about it works so much, but people still follow me because I still have like normal posts about my kids. I still have like real life things. Um, you know, make them like your, all of your potentials are your best friend. That's really what it is. Okay. Is this frozen again? No, it's just you. No. Okay. That's so weird. Okay. Cause it's been frozen for like the last 20 seconds. So I, I just kept talking now. Okay. Um, okay. So Eliana, is there anything that you want to add for sealing the deal? Cause I feel like I'm talking everyone's ear off. Um, no, you basically covered it. It is the follow up, the follow up, and and then also helping them feel, um, you know, comfortable with you because people can feel when you just want them to sign up, and um, you just really got to talk to them and really make those conversations and those messages about them, like really get to know your potential. Um, like literally, I'll call my potentials. I've been calling like a lot of people all week and that's why I've been signing so many of them. But, um, when you call them and you're like, okay, girl, tell me what you do, you know, tell me a little bit about your life, like your kids or whatever. Then they feel like you really do care about them. And then you can say, okay, you know what? I think it'd be great because this is what you can do with this and your work helps you with this and so and so, you know what I mean? Um, but if you're like, okay, yeah, are you ready to sign up? Yeah or no? Okay, bye. It's, <laughs> it's just not going to happen guys. Yeah. You need to really get to know them. Yeah. So you guys, if I can ever get someone on the phone, as soon as I, um, talk to somebody, I'll ask them just text or can I call you? Cause I want to call them, but some people are not comfortable with that. But if I can, Oh, I so will call them because calling them, you can basically, I feel like you have like 10 follow-ups in one conversation because they're like, Oh, you're a real person. I like you. We're conversating. Like you're actually like caring about me. Just like what she said, you're getting to know me. Um, but getting to know each other is a little bit harder in text. And so I know not everyone's super comfortable with getting on the phone, but if you can just do it, you guys, it's so much better. Like tonight, um, I actually just signed, um, a girl from my church, Stephanie, she may or may not be on here. Um, and I, I just messaged her. I'll just use her as an example. Um, I saw her at church and she's very cute. She's a cute girl. She's pregnant. And I was like, you're so cute. I'm going to totally have you be a distributor. Um, I found her on Facebook. I added her. Um, she liked a couple of my things. I offered her the business in a message. I just said, Hey girl, like, I think you'd be really good at this business. Like what, um, what do you think? Like, would you be interested in hearing about it? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. And I said, we were going to meet on Wednesday, but I told her about the BOGO and she's like, okay, well then let's do Monday. So she actually was just over here. Um, and do you notice how like she told me what she was comfortable with? She didn't say, um, I, I, I offered it to her. I said, do you want to come over? Or do you want to do phone or just text? And she wanted to come over. People will let you know what is going to work best for them. She came over and she just became a distributor. So in person and on the phone is so much better for people. And I've signed 
so many distributors just through text. So it's not always the way to go, but a lot of people will sign um, quicker um, if they can hear your voice or see you face to face. And some of you guys might think like, oh, that's a little bit more time, but it's totally not. If you can get someone on the phone, boom, they're your friend. You can follow up with them easier. Um, but if you have to follow up 10 times through a text where you look like you're just trying to sign them up, it's not going to be as easy. Um, but, okay. Um, Stacy, I want to ask you something. I don't know what, though. Um, you look cute, though. Okay, so what do you do for consistency and organization? Um, I have a planner and I have a notebook where I write down all of my potentials. And that's how I stay organized. And I just look through it every day or every other day to just see who I need to go back and build that relationship with again. Um, Another thing though that made it a little bit easier is the Instagram is um, turning their notifications on. So there's a little option. If you go to their profile, you can, the three little dots on top of a picture, you can actually turn on their notifications so that for a potential. So I have that on a lot of mine. And so when they post, I will immediately go to their posts and like and comment. Um, and that's just building that relationship. So after a couple times of that, I'll go ahead and message them directly. That kind of helps me a little bit, but as far as um, like maybe Facebook or, you know, people who randomly text me, things like that, I will write in my notebook who to follow up with and when. Perfect. Yeah, so it seems like pretty much the best way to do it. Um, I, like I said, I like to keep things simple. So I think just like a simple notebook is the best because you don't want to give yourself more work. It's better to just keep it, simple like another thing sorry sorry yeah. just real quick because I just had somebody interested in product and I don't have my notebook with me so what I did immediately before I forgot was put it in on Wednesday she me follow up with on Wednesday I put it in my phone and and as, a, as an alert so perfect that's something I also do if I don't have it with me I will immediately go to my phone and put it in my um, calendar yeah I do the same thing just because like I don't always have my notebook if I'm out and about um, so I like to do both of those things too, but you guys, the business, it's simple. It's simple work. You just have to do it. Don't overcomplicate it. Go to your Facebook or Instagram, add new people, make sure you're posting consistently and then go and offer the business and the product. That's it. Make sure that you are like actually getting to know someone before you offer the business, but don't wait too long after a conversation or two offer the business do it again, follow up, do it again, follow up, do it again, follow up, do it again, follow up. It's going to be repetitive. It's the simplest repetitive way to make a million dollars. That's the easiest way I can say it. Like it's not rocket science. It's simple. Um, but you have to be willing to do the work because someone's not going to hand it to you. And if someone was going to, everyone would do it and everyone would be millionaires and we wouldn't all be able to be in the position that we are. So, um, Remember, no graphics for your posts. Keep it simple. Um, stories really touch people, you guys, for your posts. If you guys have a story, whatever your story may be, maybe you weren't on food stamps and Medicaid. Maybe you had amazing money at a job. You just had no time. Or maybe you do have that now. And maybe you just want extra money. Put that out there. Be honest with people. The more real you are, the better. Um, the more times you can go live on Facebook, the better. Um, when you go live on Facebook, um, you are actually notifying everybody about your video. So people are going to go and click on it and watch it automatically anyways. Um, and so whenever I do a live video, I get so many potentials from it because it notifies everybody, not just who's looking at my profile at the time. So go do a live video about the business. I sent out that challenge and not a lot of people did it, but the ones that did do it, I know got a lot of potentials, which is awesome. Um, do a live video tonight or tomorrow um, and just talk about the business. Keep it really simple. Talk about your story, the business, and tell them about BOGO. That's it. Just take that challenge. I promise you, you will get awesomeness from it. Um, okay, so let's see here. I kept it kind of really simple for you guys tonight because um, I know a lot of the times 
we go more in depth with messaging or we go more in depth with like the business and everything it can do for you and whatever. But at the end of the day, there's the basics and you have to just do the basics. It's not rocket science. Okay. Um, okay. So I don't know why I just moved my phone. Oh yeah. I was going to click on something. Okay. So does anyone want to, does anyone have any questions? And also you guys in the team page at the top of the team page, there's a magnifying glass. Please click that and type in a keyword to your question before you post the question on there because a lot of the questions have already been answered and are very simple usually. Um, so what I want you to do is first you go to your enroller and ask the question and then you go to the team page in the magnifying glass if it's something more in depth, okay? Because um, there's so much awesome information, I just don't want it all like bumped down. Okay. So, and also, you guys, you can't get anywhere in this business without belief, okay? Go watch The Secret. If you don't have belief in yourself, if you don't have belief in your goals, you'll never hit them. That's why I said it's so important, even if you don't believe in yourself or your goals yet, if you have a vision board up, if you have your goals written down, you will slowly get the belief in yourself. So that's why it's really important. Um, okay, so does anyone have any questions? Um, I'll let you guys... Um, sorry, my mom texted me. <laughs> I'll let you guys um, just unmute yourself if you have any questions. You guys are all just millionaires. Let me see. Okay. No? Everyone's good? Wow. I actually oh, have one. I'm I, so think one. I think someone had a Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, you're good. Okay, I'm good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Sorry. Um, so you were talking about charting briefly and I just had one question. Yeah. So you said we could use like an executive or Ruby like further down. It just can't be anybody who's already like in a box, right? Does that make sense? So like if I have, I don't know, I have like Kim and Sheena. So if Sheena under Kim, I can't use Sheena as a Ruby because I already obviously put her in a box, right? I just wanted to clarify that for all the new people. You can use but, her. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Really exciting. So I'll just use, I'll just use them as an example. So you said you have who? Like my husband, Kim and Sheena. And I wanted to use my husband as the Ruby Emerald or Ruby. Emerald. Yeah. And then Kim as my Ruby and then Sheena as executive. Okay, so if she is if she is Kim's executive, yes, you can. Okay, I just can't use her as like a separate, obviously, because she'd already yeah. be. Okay, yeah. perfect. If, if, I they're the same leg, if, if they're in the same leg, you can only use one of them, basically. One, okay, perfect. Thank yeah. you so much for clarifying yeah. that. But like, if it's husband Kim Sheena, husband Emerald, you can use Sheena as a ruby. Okay, And just perfect. pretend like Kim's not there. Sorry, Kim and Sheena, if you're on here. <laughs> but we love yeah. you, Kim. <laughs> so you, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, awesome. Okay. Thank you. I'll mute myself now that it may be. No, you're fine. So, anyone else have any questions? Yes. Who's that? Sam. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I have literally messaged probably like 200 people and I still haven't signed anyone. Any suggestions? I've been talking to Savannah because. So when did you sign up? Um, like a week ago. Okay. So even if you've messaged 200 people, you've only been signed for a week. You haven't even had a chance to follow up with anyone. Okay. Honestly, make sure that you are having relationships with those people, um, have Savannah look at your messages because if okay. you're just sending out a copy and paste message, that will get you nowhere. You have to be like interacting. Hey, how are you? How's it? How's your kids? You know, building that relationship and then offering the business because if you just message them, Hey, Sally, I think you'd be awesome at this business. Sign up. Blah, 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 blah. We don't even know each other, but I'm just talking to you. They're going to be like, really? You know? So I've messaged that to people that I didn't know before, but it was after I had like commented and they could see that I legitimately had actually like 
follow them for a little bit. Um, and so make sure that um, Savannah's kind of looking over your messages because maybe that's the wrong, bad thing that you're doing. But honestly, it's only been a week. Your messages could be perfect, but people are just not ready yet. Okay. All, of, all of your seeds will blossom like at the same time because if you're doing all the work now. Um, okay. And I also suggest having a party because you sound like you're looking for like the instant, the instant gratification and that doesn't always happen, but it does happen at parties. If you invite five people to a party, most likely they're all going to become something, a customer or a distributor. So while you're messaging all these people, have a party because that will give you that, those wins that you're looking for. Okay. Cool. Thank you. But go you for messaging like 200 people. I never messaged 200 people when I first started. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, just make sure that um, Savannah's kind of looking over them, making sure that you're messaging like correctly, I guess. Um, okay, and then Annie said, sorry, Mike isn't working. How often do you follow up with people who don't reply to your messages? Um, so if they don't reply the first time, um, if we have never talked before, I know that I need to interact more and then I'll message them maybe a week later. Um, but if we've already talked before, and then they ignore my message, and then they ignore my message, the third time I'll be like, I'm so sorry if I offended you. I just know that you'll be amazing at this business. And, um, you know, I, I didn't want to, you know, take the opportunity away from you by, you know, just not following up with you. And most of the time they'll message you back like, no, you didn't offend me. I just don't have the money yet or whatever. And that kind of breaks the ice for you. But there's no right or wrong time to, um, there's no right or wrong time to like follow up with people. It's just feel them out, you know? Okay, so anybody else? I have a question, Christy. Yeah, who's that? Okay, so um, I have a few potential distributors and they, I keep following up with them and they're not um, ready to sign yet or some of them don't have the money to sign right away. But I do get a lot of people that, that uh, message back saying that they don't want to because it's a pyramid scheme. And I keep trying to tell them it's not. And like all the stuff I see in the group telling them that it's not and they still don't believe me. So I don't know what. You move on. You just move on. Okay. The problem is, is as bad as it sounds, some people are just closed minded hmm. and you know, if your mother, sister's aunt's cousin told you that this is a pyramid scheme and then some stranger is telling you that she's making $10,000 a month, most likely it's going to take you a little while to, you know, believe the girl that's making the 10000 a month. But some people, as bad as it sounds, are just okay with being miserable. I don't, that sounds really bad, but... They're okay with being in debt. They're okay with working their life away. And that's what they want. And they don't know any other way. So they're not open to hearing anything else. And I don't have time for those people. Because I have other people that are ready to kill it. And they're going to get my time. So move on. But when people, I've had like two people in three years that have told me it was a pyramid scheme. And basically what I just say is I just say, you know, um, corporate America is a pyramid scheme. That's what I say. I say, you know, you are working for a certain amount of hours um, every week for a, you know, $10, $20, whatever. And besides that, if the company makes uh, $500 million more a year, guess what? They get paid more and you are still making your same hourly wage. That's it. The company explodes, opens up 50 franchises. You still make the same. The thing with our business is we are each basically our own little businesses. My sales go up. I make more. You make more. We all make more. Everybody makes more. Like, that's just the way I explain it. But some people, they just, whatever. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Some people are just silly gooses. But yeah. Anyway, so does anyone else have any other questions? <laughs> I have something. Yes. 
question. Yeah, so I don't know how really to word it, but so I've been trying to like go through and add like random people on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, one thing that I always try to look at is if like the top leaders are friends. Like I look for you, Stacy and Eliana, if you guys are friends with them and I can tell that they're not a customer, I don't add them because I feel like that you're like stepping on somebody else's toes, you know? And it's like, there's some people on my friends list that I've been friends with since like, there's this one girl I've been friends with her since first grade. And I know that, um, the person who's friends with her and who's like liking her stuff doesn't know her. And it's something that I've like talked with her about the business before. And so I messaged her to follow up with her this morning and she's like, Oh, well, so-and-so started talking to me about it already too. So is there a way to like, isn't that kind of like a respect kind of thing? So, like should people look for that or well, no, there's no way really to know who's talking to who, but what I suggest is, go to your friends list, you guys, and block your friends list. So you can actually hide your friends list on Facebook, um, go to your settings. And like, so basically if you go to my Facebook, you can't see my friends list. So nobody knows who I'm actually friends with. So that's the first thing to do. Um, but the next thing to do is there's no way to know who's talking to who I've, I've signed Eliana's potentials. Eliana's signed mine. And we kind of just had to say, you know, God put whoever's business they're supposed to be in, in theirs, but it's a different thing if somebody knows. So if I sign someone and then Eliana was like, oh, I was talking to her a long time ago. Like there's nothing we can do about it, but mm -hmm. you guys, yes, we need to have boundaries. And I promise you that good karma will come around if you turn someone back to the person they originally talked with. So for example, if, um, Eliana, if I talked to a girl and she was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. This, this actually happened literally like two days ago. Um, and somebody messaged me and I was like, yeah, let's sign you up tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. And then Eliana was like, oh, you know, um, I had actually been talking to that girl and she let me know that she just messaged you. And I'm like, okay. So I tell the girl, you know, I don't want to, um, get anyone's hands dirty, go sign up with Eliana. You're still going to have amazing support. You're still going to have amazing help. Go, you know, go to her, sign up with her because you talk to her first. So if you guys ever talk to somebody and they said they're talking to somebody else first and they're not saying like, Christy, no, I hate Eliana. She talked to me first, but I hate her. Send them back to that person. Send them back to that person. Ultimately, it is the person's choice who they want to sign with, but you should always send them back to the person that they originally talked with if they are partial to it. Like if they're not begging you to sign them because they hate the other person so much, then yes, you should be sending them back to the other person. Um, so in your case, um, if that girl, I would just message her and I would say, Hey, you know, I have actually been talking to Sally for a little while. Um, and just let them know, you know, because they might not know. And once you let them know, they might say, Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Um, okay. I'll definitely tell her to sign with you. Cause a lot of people just don't know, you know? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I totally just went on like a, <laughs> a spiel, but it happens sometimes. Um, but at the end of the day, good karma, good karma always comes back. I promise you. And God will not put anyone in your business. That's not supposed to be in your business and vice versa. Cool. Okay. Sorry. That was like a really long speech. I'm out of breath. Um, yeah, but we want to have integrity, you guys, cause we love each other and we don't want to have drama, but it happens sometimes. Um, okay. Let's see here. Anyone else have any other questions? I actually have a question. Yes. Hi, uh, Ashley. Yes. I'm actually new, obviously. And um, I just had a question about, like, how can I see, like, who to add on Facebook? Like, you know, I want to interact with new people, you know, like, not just, yeah. like, friends and, you know, my so, family. What like, I how to find them that live in Henderson or, like, you know. Like that are like, you know, that I can call and stuff. Like how do I find them? Okay. So what I suggest is 
go to someone's friends list that's totally not a distributor. Like, you know, they're not a distributor at all. Go to their friends list and I just kind of start adding people. I'll okay. just, I only add girls. That's just a personal choice. Um, so I'll just go to someone's friends list that's not a distributor and just start adding girls because I am not biased to anyone. Everyone is my potential. Okay. Yeah. Anyone and everyone you should just be adding. Okay. <laughs> and I, I don't like to go to the people you may know because I have noticed that I'll be like, I'll do that sometimes. And then me and 20 of you guys are all commenting on the same girl stuff. And she's like, like an 18 year old mom with 300 likes on something. And I'm like, this is going nowhere. So if you guys are doing that, like unfriend them, I'm unfriending them. They're just looking for likes and whatever. But anyways, so yeah, just go to someone's friends list. I like to add people that I only have like a few mutual friends with. Cause then I know ain't none of y'all friends with them. Um, anyone else? And you are awesome, Ashley, for jumping on. Ashley just signed a few days ago. So thank you so much for jumping on this training. <laughs> um, does anyone else have any other questions? I was just going to say Sammy wrote something in the chat because her mic wasn't working. Oh, let me see. I have someone that was supposed to sign Saturday. She read my messages but doesn't respond. Do I move on or what can I say? Sorry, Mike is arguing. Um, basically, I would text her right now. I'd be like, hey, girl, um, I saw that you read my message and you didn't respond, but I just want to let you know the BOGO deal ends tomorrow, and I know that you'll be amazing at this business, and I just want you to know that I'll be with you every step of the way, and if you're ready, let's do this together. That's what I would just say. a voice message. Yeah, if you can do it yes. a voice message, because then she's curious and has to listen. Exactly. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it does work. Yeah, so do that. Um, but yeah. Cool. Anyone else? Um, somebody said I walked away. I had a question about parties. You said to have two to three parties a week or a month. Not necessarily a week or a month. I'm just saying have two to three parties, get the feel of it. Like you guys should be having parties every once in a while, just so you know, you know, you know, if that is your niche or, you know, you give it a try. So there's not really like a time amount or amount a month. It's just your personal goal. Cool. All right. Wow. You guys, there was like a hundred people on today. Ooh, woo. That's awesome. What, what? Um, I told you September is the new January. What, what? And the, those of you that don't understand that January is usually a very fast time of the year and it's happening right now. Okay. So if that's it, then, um, thank you guys for being on. If you have any more questions, then you can ask your enroller, ask me, ask the team page, whatever. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.